So the exhibition is connected to a research project at the University of Tartu about the cultural meaning of species extinction, which is led by uh, Timo Maran. And we wanted to have opportunities to disseminate our research through art and also, and most importantly, to have a research creation approach uh, to our research so that we really bring together artistic practices and research practices together. Um, so this was, let's say, the first incentive to make this exhibition. Uh, of course, there was uh, Tartu 2024, which also um, encouraged us to make uh, this exhibition, as well as the one at the University of Tartu Natural History Museum, which um, is still on until uh, the 20th of October. Um, and of course, the idea was to have an exhibition that is connected to our research project. So it is about species extinction and endangerment. Um, and the idea was to bring together artists um, who, in a way or another, touch upon this topic. Um, and not all of the works are necessarily about extinction, uh, but they can be about, um, uh, let's say, issues or problems that are connected to uh, species endangerment. Uh, such as invasive species, um, ecosystem uh, fragmentation, um, etc. Well, it is important because we are facing an ecological crisis um, and a human-made uh, species extinction, mass species extinction. Um, and I'm not sure that, even though we know about this uh, through scientific data, um, not much is done about this. Um, so for us it was important to um, not only show this um, phenomena to, um, to the, the audience, but also to um, try to make them feel what it means to lose species, uh, definitely. Um, um, all those uh, species that go extinct will never come back, uh, despite the attempts to de-extinct uh, species like the mammoth, or uh, even though, even if uh, it would actually be possible to uh, recreate a mammoth through genetics, uh, it would never be a mammoth again. Uh, it would be something different, um, living in a different ecosystem because its ecosystem has disappeared. Um, so uh, this exhibition uh, is meant to um, have the visitors feel, understand, uh, maybe deal, process this phenomenon of, uh, of losing uh, the living organisms that surround us. Uh, we have many artists, both uh, local Estonian artists and, and international artists uh, from different countries in Europe and uh, even from Canada and Australia. Um, We've chosen most of the works that were existing works uh, because we thought they were fitting to talk about different um, aspects of species endangerment. Um, and we also have a couple of uh, newly commissioned works for this exhibition. I always like to say I don't like uh, to prescribe anything to the visitors because I think that um, encountering an artwork is a one-on-one -on -one experience and um, um, of course some works will uh, be more significant for some visitors than and others to uh, other visitors. Um, what I do hope is that uh, visitors can 
if you try to grasp, experience, feel um, this uh, immense loss that we're uh, going through um, and hopefully just be more aware of the surroundings um, after visiting the exhibition. Um, it's very hard when you look at the, um, the scale of the environmental damage uh, that is uh, happening around us. It's really hard to believe that we can make a difference uh, because there is so much to do and uh, uh, very often we feel powerless uh, in the face of, you know, large companies that are, um, are polluting and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, but hopefully by just being more aware of our surroundings, paying more attention to all the creatures uh, that are around us. Um, hopefully, yeah, this will make a difference. And, and so that next time that visitors uh, come across an insect in their house, then they can uh, take it outside rather than uh, kill it. Um, yeah. <laughs>